Hey there everybody, today we're going to go over the questions for OBA or DMS review. If at any time during this video you feel like I'm speaking too fast, you could always go and edit the speed on the YouTube video. So without further ado, let's begin. Question 1. Neural tube defects are blank times more likely to occur in diabetic mothers. A. 7 times. B. 8 times. C. 9 times. D. 10 times. The answer is D, 10 times. 2. A monozygotic, monochorionic, and monoamniotic pregnancy is also referred to as A. Fraternal twins, B. Ectopic pregnancy, C. Identical twins, or D. A singleton pregnancy. The answer is D, singleton pregnancy. 3. The tip of the iceberg sign usually refers to which mass? A. Ovarian cancer. B. Cyst adenoma C. Dermoid cyst D. Cyst adenocarcinoma The answer is C. Dermoid cyst Number 4. The lecithin sphingomyelin ratio is used to determine A. Trisomy 21 or Down syndrome B. Amnionitis C. Fetal lung maturity or D. Fetal cardiac malformations the answer is C, fetal lung maturity. Number five, days 14 through 28 of the endometrial cycle is A, early proliferative phase, B, late proliferative phase, C, secretory phase, or D, menstrual phase. The answer is C, secretory phase. Number six, at what gestational age can you begin to start measuring the BPD? or the biparietal diameter? A, nine weeks, B, 10 weeks, C, 11 weeks, or D, 12 weeks? The answer is D, 12 weeks. Seven, the outer walls of the blastocyst are covered by A, mesoderm, B, ectoderm, C, decidua, or D, chorionic villi? The answer is D, chorionic villi. Number eight, which of the following is least likely to be true regarding cystic teratomas? A, 80% are unilateral. B, it's common in women over 40. C, they are also known as dermoid cysts. Or D, they are common in younger women. So they are dermoid cysts. 80% of them usually are unilateral and they're much more common in younger women. So the answer is B, common in women over 40 would not be likely. Number nine, a low-lying placenta is defined as A, the placental edge less than five centimeters from the internal os, B, placental edge less than three centimeters from the internal os, C, placenta edge less than two centimeters from the internal os, or D, placenta completely covering the internal os. The answer is C, placental edge less than 2 centimeters from the internal os. Placenta completely covering the internal os would be placenta previa. Number 10, which of the following is true regarding cystic hygroma? A, it is a lymphatic malformation. B, it can be associated with high drops. C, commonly seen in the neck. D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. 11. In the first and second trimester, the fetal lung is A. Hyperechoic to the liver B. Hypoechoic to the liver C. Isoechoic to the liver or D. Anechoic The answer is C. Isoechoic to the liver So the liver and lung in the first and second trimester should roughly have the same echogenicity. Number 12. Which is not a shunt present in the fetus? A. Foramen ovale, B. Ductus venosus, C. Ductus arteriosus, or D. Ligamentum venosum. The answer is D. Ligamentum venosum. That is a structure that is seen postnatally and it is a remnant of the ductus venosus. 13. What abnormality is demonstrated by this image? A. Dolicocephaly, 
B. Cleft lip. C. Cleft palate. Or D. Macroglossia. The answer is D. Macroglossia. Macroglossia means enlarged tongue. 14. Focal intrauterine fluid present in up to 20% of ectopic pregnancies is A. Double decidual reaction. B. Pseudogestational sac. C. Yolk sac. Or D. Embryonic sac. The answer is B. Pseudogestational sac. Number 15. The placenta is responsible for all of the following except A. Gas exchange. B. Nutrient exchange. C. Hormone production. Or D. Hematopoiesis. The answer is D. Hematopoiesis. The placenta is responsible for gas exchange, nutrient exchange, and hormone production. Fetal hematopoiesis, or the production of blood cellular components, begins in the yolk sac and continues in the liver during fetal development. 16. The umbilical cord is made up of A. Two arteries and one vein. B. Two veins and one artery. C. Three arteries and two veins. D. Three veins, one artery. The answer is A. Two arteries and one vein. 17. The liquid substance within the umbilical cord is A. Umbilical fluid B. Wharton's jelly C. Wally's jelly or D. None of the above The answer is B. Wharton's jelly Which of the following is not associated with placental abruption? A. Maternal shock B. Fetal distress C. Bloody amniotic fluid or D. Painless bright red blood. The answer is D. Painless bright red blood. That is present usually during placenta previa. 19. Midline abdominal wall defect where abdominal contents herniate into the base of the umbilical cord is A. Gastroschisis. B. Pentalogy of Cantrell. C. Omphalocele. Or D. Ectopia cordis. The answer is C, omphalocele. Gastroschisis is usually on the lateral side of the abdomen, is not covered by a membrane or the umbilical cord. Pentalogy of Contrell is also called thoracoabdominal syndrome and causes defects involving the diaphragm, abdominal wall, pericardium, heart, and lower sternum. Number 20, a fetus that is greater than the 90th percentile for gestational age is A, full term, B, large for gestational age, C. Macrosomic or D. Microsomic? The answer is B. Large for gestational age. Macrosomia is defined as a fetus greater than 4,000 grams, regardless of gestational age. 21. The most common congenital facial anomaly is A. Cleft lip, cleft palate. B. Hypotellurism. C. Proboscis or D, encephalocele? The answer is A, cleft lip, cleft palate. Number 22, the following image shows A, hydrocephalus, C, hydrocele, C, hygroma, or D, hydranencephaly. So on first view, this image might confuse and it might look like a young fetal brain with uh, hydrocephalus, but you can see the penis there. So these are the testicles. This is a hydrocele. The answer is B, hydrocele. Number 23, the white arrow is pointing to A, lateral ventricle, B, corpus callosum, C, cavum vergi, or D, fourth ventricle. The answer is B, corpus callosum. Number 24, the blue arrow is pointing to A. Nasal bone B. Frontal sinus C. A marker for trisomy 21 or D. A and C The answer is D. A and C It is a nasal bone and it's also used as a marker for trisomy 21. Number 25. What is the most common cause of the findings in the following image? A. Leomyoma 
B. Uterine cancer. C. In perforate hymen. Or D. Endometrial polyp. So this is a young adolescent girl. She has hematometrial corpus, or blood in the vaginal canal, and endometrium. And it is most commonly caused by imperforate hymen. Leomyoma is a fibroid, usually seen in older women. And there's no message to suggest endometrial polyp or cancer. This ends the first 25 questions.